Imagine waking up one morning and realizing the scientific balance of the world has quietly shifted, not because of war, not because of sanctions, but because one nation out-invested, out-trained, and out-accelerated the rest of us. For years, the world thought China was catching up, but in 2025, the truth is unavoidable. China isn't catching up anymore. In many scientific fields, it's pulling ahead. Two prophetic conversations from decades ago tell the story. Around 2001, a European official in Beijing said, we share technology with China now because one day they'll return the favor. And in 2017, a retired UK security officer warned, when it comes to China, Western policymakers are always five to 10 years behind. Fast forward to 2025, China is no longer just a fast follower. It's becoming a primary engine of global scientific discovery. On October 23rd, China announced a major five-year plan, high-quality development powered by scientific innovation. The goal? Shift from manufacturing to advanced innovation. Make science the engine of national power. Achieve scientific self-reliance, independent of U.S. and Western tech. Between 2007 and 2023, China increased R&D spending sixfold, overtaking the EU and approaching U.S. levels. It now spends 2.6% of its GDP on research and development, more than anyone else in engineering, applied science, and manufacturing R&D. China also produces more STEM graduates than most countries combined, 3.6 million in 2020, compared to 820,000 in the U.S. 50,000 STEM PhDs in 2022, compared to 34,000 in the U.S. In January, a 200-person startup from Hangzhou released DeepSeek, an AI model proving China can innovate without U.S. dependency. China openly admits it still lags behind in some areas, but it has. Massive data ecosystems, a hyper-optimized manufacturing base, a government willing to pour trillions into science. It has built world-leading quantum networks, energy storage prototypes, and breakthroughs in fusion reactors. It now produces the most scientific papers and top citations in AI, chemistry, material science, and engineering. By 2035, China aims to be a global technological superpower, dominating AI, quantum computing, biotech, aerospace, robotics, and more. The world is changing. China's scientists will shape more of it than most realize. The question isn't whether China can become a scientific superpower. It's what will the world do when it does?